I'm going to show a video of jQuery Joyride and uh, how I'm thinking of implementing it for courses. So jQuery Joyride is a package by Zurb. It gives you this nice little tour uh, through things. So see, I click this bubble, I hop down the page, and I can bounce around and get uh, kind of point out to users. Uh, oh, up, up, down, down, up, right, down, right, 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 BA. There we go, so the car starts. So you see, they have a sense of humor at Zurb. So uh, there's, of course, a Drupal module for that. And so it's got a couple, 82 sites or so. It's fairly new. I made this earlier this year. Um, but Joyride is currently slated to be included with the Tor module in Drupal 8 core. So take a look at how you use this. So I'm using it in the, one of our courses. And so first, we, after we install it, we go to Context. You have to have context installed for the user. Um, and then you'll see it comes with three out of the box. So there's Joyride, Demo, and two other demos. Uh, taking a look at what one of those looks like, see it's basically defining the paths that it's on, and then there's the reaction of Joyride Tour. So you'll see you're basically just creating some HTML. Um, the data ID in this case is, is uh, numero two, which means that ID is where the arrow will point, basically. Uh, your data button is the name of the button, so you know, next or start tour, whatever. Um, H2 is the headline that you have, and then P is the text that's displayed. And so you also get some options, uh, like top or bottom for the tip location, um, animation. There's some other options in the API if you look on the, the Joyride website. Um, it loads them in the order based on when you list them here. And then if you don't supply any uh, identifier, it assumes a modal. So let's look at one that I've created now. Go back to structure, context, and what I'm working on for MOOC is a guided tour of basically how to use the system. Uh, the idea would be that this is for students, so we have a path is welcome page guided tour. Um, the other nice thing since it's context, I can put a block on, it comes with a joyride start link, so someone can click to start the tour. Um, and then here's my script. So I've got a pretty lengthy one here. It points to a whole bunch of different locations. Uh, it uses mostly IDs. We have some modals in there. Um, it's dark tour. You'll see the button for the first one as opposed to next, 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 next. And then at the end, we have close. Uh, so let's see what this ends up looking like. So I have a tab here. I click guided tour. This is going to deliver me an example page. You'll see we get a pop up here that says, get to know your course. And then I hit start tour. So we jump over logistics. So give a description of what these links do. Uh, course outline. So students know, hey, this is your content outline. This is the title of the page you'll be reading. Uh, you read a bunch. Media. So here's an, a sample media. So we're dual purpose this. So we're taking them through a little guided tour of what to expect on a page, uh, but also giving them example media so they can test and make sure that they can play uh, the media we're going to be sending them in the course. And you jump down and see, hey, here's what directions often look like. With these nice little interactive CSS3 directions. Click again. Here's what YouTube looks like. Uh, so you get a YouTube sample. Make sure, again, make sure it works. Um, and then we give a final message of, we're always looking to improve the course, even when you're taking it, and you know, direct them to the feedback button on the side. So that's just a very basic example of how you can use jQuery Joyride. I plan on starting to integrate this um, optionally into projects like the Outline Designer and things uh, so that you could have a little question mark e portion. It'll actually take you through how to do uh, whatever it is. So if you want to learn more, the project is Joyride, and then it gives you the directions on how to install it.